Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylands. Hooray! We finally reached the 70k mark, I reached it there for just a second which was of course enough to unlock it. So Metropolis, we now have access to planes. The next milestone is gonna be 85k, so that's where we're gonna get the next tile. Which means the tile we choose right now is quite significant. After we've unlocked the last milestone, I'm gonna be able to unlock all the tiles. Of course, I have to pay for each individual tile, but I have to reach the last milestone in order to be able to do that. I was thinking about this tile, but then where the heck are we gonna add more residential? We could utilize the space up here. So if I just add another district wrapping around triggered heights, we might be able to reach the 85k mark. But I definitely want to introduce a new industry, which would be the oil industry here. So that might be really intriguing in combination with the airport. I'm, I just have to do it. We're gonna go for this tile. Oh, so nice. Now we have a really great episode ahead of us. What I want to do, maybe first, yeah, let's get into pass mode. I want to change that intersection here. I want to make this highway straight. We're also gonna connect this highway, so maybe we're just gonna do some kind of a loop, go around here, down there and join up with this highway. And that means at this point we are gonna make some kind of an intersection or interchange. Let me just go ahead and prepare that. Probably the easiest way to achieve that is to make the curve right here and then add the on and off ramps afterwards. This is gonna be fairly unique because we usually do it with the straights of course. Well, first things first, we're gonna need a continuation of that road. And now all we have to do is basically hook this up. We're gonna do the easy and obvious ones first. An off slash on ramp leading into this road. Another obvious one would be just to continue straight. I'm gonna do the lane management in just a second, don't worry. You cross right there and join this road, nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some adjustments here. I don't want this to be too high, just high enough for a truck to go under. And we also want to bring this a little bit closer to the road. This is then gonna allow us to get out here, do a little curve across. Uh, wait, maybe we can achieve that with the move it mod. Just get you over here. Yeah. And that is still enough space for a truck, as you can see. Ah, I love it. This makes it much more interesting to me than the old vanilla interchanges. And then I guess we just join back up with the road. How about that? That is pretty smooth. Let's try some lane management. This would be two lanes here, then going back into three lanes. We temporarily have to move this so I can downgrade this. Right here would be two lanes, going back into three lanes. And that here, hold on. I'm gonna do two lane. We might wanna upgrade this to four lanes after the toll roads. I'm actually gonna do that. Let's do four lanes right here. Then going into two and two lanes, still two lanes, and then we're back to three lanes. So now it's really adding up, except this one here. This could be two lanes going straight. I'm actually not 100% sure about that. I'm still gonna do it for now, so we're gonna upgrade this to four lanes, and that reminds me, maybe we can make this a little bit nicer looking. You know, just a tad of an adjustment, and now we even have the space for some decorations. Or, I could also put these really close together. I haven't really thought about that, if we can push these, just so that they don't overlap here at the road ends. Then we can just push these together, and hide the obvious thickness of the toll roads. Yeah, check this out, that looks much better. I love Move It. Okay then, I think we're gonna do something similar right here, actually. I'm gonna try to connect these to the best of my ability, and maybe we're just gonna keep that as our final road shape. So once we unlock the lower tile, we already have the highway direction. And I should still have enough space to do something into this direction. So maybe right now we should continue here. What I want you to do first of all is come down one level, just one, like so. Then we're gonna continue straight for a while, maybe to this point. Actually, was that straight? Yeah, looks alright. Then somewhere at this point we wanna go down, so maybe we can just take the curve. Let's actually continue a little more and then do a curve, like so. Darn it, I totally nailed that! Anyway, so we're gonna continue downwards, like so. And now I want to go back in a diagonal manner. 
So maybe at this point we will have reached the ground with the highway and we're going back like so. That means here I can go up one level, just continue a little bit, maybe take away one segment from this road. And now we should be able to connect these guys in an orderly fashion. We'll see. Oh, do I get a guideline? Yes. Oh, beautiful. I don't know many games that manage to get a road placement as close to perfect as City Skylines. Well then, I guess let's do another random intersection. Give me a little more space. You go over here. Wait, what was that? I wanted to place a highway. You go into here. That's fine. So we already have these two directions covered. Just need two more. Of course, the more difficult ones, but I think I can just eyeball it and then use the move it tool to fix anything. Guys, you have no idea how much time this is actually saving me. This is truly humbling. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. What I, I just wanted to get it out of the way so I can do something crazy here. I have to move this a little bit. And now they can drive into all directions. Of course, my lane management can be a little bit better. Here we have two going back into three and here. Here, wait, 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 let's do two for this one. Okay, that's working out for me. This means we're now free to start building the oil industry. Oh my gosh, I've been looking forward to this. All right, I thought about this for a tiny bit and decided to go with a roundabout system. So it's gonna be something crazy. Well, actually not that crazy. I guess we can go with the highway, but let's build it with a six lane road first. I just feel like it's giving me more accurate control. So first things first, I'm just gonna build the roundabout. It's gonna be a fairly large one, I admit. And we're gonna bring it over here. Did I fail with the pillars? No, well, maybe move it up slightly. Ah, that is perfect with the pillars now. Check this out, I love it. You know what? I wanna test out one more possibility. What if we build this roundabout on the top instead? Or maybe something that makes even more sense is to elevate this shebang. So instead we're going up two steps, like so, and have the roundabout just beneath it. Ooh, hold on, what would be even more intriguing is to actually elevate the terrain and have tunnels for the industry to go th Oh, I love this! I still have it selected, so we could just move it up slightly. Let's try to keep it realistic, but we also need the ability to actually tunnel through this. So we just need to make some adjustments, uh, nothing major. There we go. Not enough soil? I'm insulted. Let's take it from here. Gonna try to make something interesting out of this inner part. Can we do this now? Just tunnel in here, how does that look? Yeah, this kind of works. We're still going down slightly, but not in an obvious way. Right, so in general, let's just imagine this is an old abandoned quarry or something. So we definitely want to remove the trees and then add a bunch of stones, I guess. Let me see, can I actually remove trees this way? Yeah, okay, it gets replaced. So we're gonna add a bunch of stones, maybe a bigger one right there. Mm. Nice, look at that, there's even this tunnel-y thingy-mobop almost. Look, I mean, I can imagine it is a mine. There we go, and now we just need a bunch of props to make this look like an old abandoned quarry. I kind of dig it. Let's upgrade our roundabout here. I want this to be a highway. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Okay, everything fixed. We can calm down again. Now, with the tunnels, maybe I should have planned this through before placing down all of the stones and what the heck ever happened here? <laughs> oh, I hope I can fix this. Yeah, I think we can just hide it. There we go. I guess let's first decide on the direction of this part. We're gonna align it with this road. These are all gonna be two-way highways and that needs to change the direction. So they have a way in and out of the district and we can maybe make sure this looks a little more symmetrical. We're gonna upgrade this road to six lanes two-way. Now maybe somewhere here we could think about the cargo stations. Cargo airport, it is tempting, but I think we first have to think about the train terminal so we can hook it up to our existing network. For now, we're just gonna do this with an industry two lanes, one way road, like so. So that's gonna be my cargo station right there. Uh, well, I have to admit this is not necessarily going to be easy, especially how to connect up with this one. I think we might have to rearrange a few of these. First set up the train route. There we go, there's actually a point we can connect, now we just have to make it look less wobbly 
There we go. We'll have to observe if this is clogging up, but since it's quite far away from everything else, I think we have a fighting chance it is not. Et voila, everything is fixed so far. Let's continue with the rails right here. Okay, right, looks like we have that hooked up. Now I'm just gonna make my way over here. Yeah, I mean, this is probably gonna continue towards the other direction as well. Nice. Now let me try to come up with something nifty for this area. I kind of have a vision for this and I wanna do this with lots of highways and two-way roads. So right at this point, we're gonna have some highways. If everything adds up, we might be able to implement some toll roads. Well, maybe we're just gonna do something like that, but that would mean five roads or even six if we count this one. Well, I mean, technically we could still squeeze one in. Let's try that. And now all we have to do is find our way into this road and back again. You can kind of see the system I'm going for here. There we go. Now, that's my vision for this district. I know right now there's a ton of wasted space. Maybe I should have done that before. Yeah, I did not think that through. I guess Move It is gonna have to save our bots again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so far so good. I actually kind of like it. Let's see what we can do with it. We have to paint the district. Paint industry area, all of this please. This is probably not a large enough space, but I just wanted to try something with this design. So this is gonna be the oil industry. And it looks as though we first have to place the main building. Oil, how large is that? I guess we could plot that down here in the beginning. Maybe we're gonna use the first road, the left side, for some of these administration buildings. Let's have a look at the policies. As far as I'm concerned, I want to enable everything anyways. I also want to make sure we can keep our promise by digging in here. Uh, I mean, we can get out here and then go up. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, actually, this might be working. Wait, that did something really weird, but not unfixable. Yeah, I mean, you get the basic gist. I don't really want to take care of that right now. That's just going to be a more or less decorative part. Let's see what other buildings we just unlocked. The small oil pump. So I guess we could start here at the first row. I want to keep a little bit of a distance after the intersection. So at least four tiles. Yeah, let's do it right there. And then we're going to set up like three pumps. We also already have access to the oil sludge pyrolysis plant. Pyrolysis. 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 Yeah, sure. We are finally going to receive petroleum. Ah, oh, I just love that. Let's place this one here, also with a little bit of distance. Actually, this distance here isn't too important since the vehicles are coming from the side road. But I'm still gonna keep a little bit of distance. There we go. There's also a oil tank farm. Now, the tanks I would like to keep nearby the train station. So maybe right here isn't the worst of ideas. I'm gonna set up two more wells. Look at them. Ugh. What a pathetic industry I have so far. I hooked up the utilities. One thing I forgot is to hook up the highway to the actual roundabout there. So that's what I'm trying here right now. Well, we want a way to get on there as well. And we do the same thing on the other side. Get on right here and get off right there. I think I want to upgrade these to two lanes. Uh, can I please do that? Why are you still in the way? Uh, maybe like so. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's not too much of a slope. Maybe we can fix this a tiny bit. There are a bunch of nodes directly on top of each other. That's always bad news. I can live with that. The last thing I want to do before we unpause is to actually make toll roads out of them and at the same time let the traffic all merge into different lanes. So if we started with a large toll booth, I think we can set up two here in the center. Let's try that. One right there and another one right here. And thus, theoretically, we could do at least a little bit of merging, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not so sure about this. I mean, if we just go in straight with all the roads, that's not gonna work. No, I don't think I'm really getting what I want with this. It's just gonna result in more traffic. Oh, I just realized I don't even need two of these bastards. I just need the one. This has eight lanes and technically we only need five. So now this might already be more realistic. Let's see if I can hook these up. We could merge them here and the six lane can be one way now. You go there, you go here and you go in. Oh man, I, lo oh, I love it, I love it. 
Just one more thing. We need to merge that into four lanes. Yes, look at that. Hmm, thinking about it, this could also be a highway. Doesn't even need to be six lane. Why the heck? So right at the point where we're not gonna zone anymore, we're gonna swap into a highway. Make this all much faster. Yeah, I really like that setup. I mean, it even adds up in terms of lane mathematics. Now I just need to do the same thing on the other side. Be right back. There we go. Set and done. I love it. Does it have power? Yes. Nice! Can you guys cope with my new intersections? I have to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Ah, we have our first cars arriving. Oh, 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 traffic lights. No bueno, we do not need traffic lights here. We're gonna need public transport though, eventually. Okay, these guys were going straight to the train station. That might be something to consider, maybe to hook up the train station with the highway, just like we have in the other industry as well. But there we go. Cars are using my... Wait, wait. You have to pay more. <laughs> what an unlucky bastard. I guess it's a little bit complicated to get to the oil tank here, for instance, because of the one-way system. But I like how they can choose at the toll road what they want. We're gonna need a whole bunch of workers and resources, so I guess just a little bit of time. And you guys, wait. You don't have power? What's happening? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. That's another thing I have to take care of. That really sucks my power plant at the moment. At least now we have the power. In terms of power, we could add our oil power plant. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And it creates 120 megawatts. So that's an absolutely acceptable number, I would say. Let's add it right there for now. I feel so tiny with this industry. I think I'm just gonna add another petroleum factory and maybe just one or two more rigs. Traffic through this new intersection is working fine as well. It's just an eyesore. I need to upgrade this even though it's screwing with lane mathematics. But until we use traffic manager, lane mathematics isn't everything. I just love the idea that just by potentially having one job in this industry, they have to go through my toll road twice. Thinking about this, maybe we bring the factories a little further up north. They only need to be inside the district and not on top of oil. There we go, level 2. Now we already have much more stuff. Let's check it out. Yes, the petrochemical plant. Finally, we have access to the plastic and petroleum already, so that should allow us to maybe even activate one of our factories we have on halt. Gonna start with this type of factory right here. It actually fits perfectly. Let's just add two of these right away. Next up, there's the crude oil storage cavern. So that's just another storage possibility. And I think, wait, maybe we don't want the storage all together. Uh, no, I think we're gonna go for the looks here and symmetry. So two storage units, please. Then we finally have the barracks. I wonder, I wanted to place some of the barracks down here. But until we do that, I'm just gonna add maybe three or so to increase our efficiency. Last but not least, we have the upgraded small oil rig. So I don't see a reason to keep the small ones around, except maybe we just keep them here on the edge. Sure, that's actually a possibility. We keep them here at the edge and then start with the bigger rigs on the side streets. So another small one here and then the first big one right there. Let's add three or no, let's do five. Ah, we have our first goods leaving the train system. That's good. Uh, yeah, okay, I think they just want to export, so probably hooking this up eventually is a good idea. But alas, we first have to grow for that. However, I have to admit, at the moment we're making quite good progress in terms of money. Already level 3. We got now the toy factory, I think that's a specialized one, and oil industry storage, a really large one. But most importantly, the oil pump. So, let me see, maybe I'm gonna smooch these guys on the opposite side of the road. Oh, actually, there's an even larger one. Jeez, this is incredible. We're gonna have so much fun with the oil rigs. Let's set up five of these. Also new industry storage. I'm gonna leave some space for a pathway here. Just because I feel like it. No, it's actually not enough space. Beautiful. At least good enough. Let's see what the power does. Yeah, we don't have to hook up everything anymore. That's a good sign. We can even get rid of this ugliness. We should maybe also take care of the recycling aspect. Actually, right here, the oil industry, I think we can go with an incineration plant. It's a dirty business anyways. Ah, there we go. Household plastic factory. That would be the first other thing we can set. Wow, this is actually bigger than I thought. Everything ends up bigger than I thought. We could just place that here. Let's do that. 
You're gonna need petroleum and plastics, and you're gonna make plastic pro- Wait, what is that? Is there an update that happened? That wasn't that specific, right? It was just like, manufactured goods. Oh man, I'm now really confused. Wait, let's activate this one here, plastics. We wanna turn on the warehouses we can make use of now. So what if we got another warehouse here? Yeah, let's add one there. And we wanna sort this for plastics. I wanted to sort for unique factory products. I guess it still counts as the same. It's just labeled differently, more specifically. Yeah, so hopefully we're gonna store our plastic products right here. Should be fine. Now we also have a reason to use this train cargo station because that's the closest to our warehouses and specialized industry. There was also the toy factory that required combined effort. Can we set this up here? We might want to add another road. Yeah, let me do that. Just branch out here a little bit and then set up the factory here, including another warehouse. Let's maybe do a medium sized one. Yeah, I think I can plot one down here. This is also going to be unique factory products and we have our toy factory ready to rumble. Look at that, we're already making profits. Soon we're gonna be level 4. Pretty good, I have to admit. This part right here is clearly giving us problems, just the way I thought. This train right here wants to go straight, but the train that is going left is in the way. And that's basically the worst thing that can happen. So what if we get rid of that and try to make this triangle much larger? Okay, that should make things already much better. Let's see. Large crude oil tank farm. Well, I guess we don't need that right now. We have plenty of storage spaces. What we definitely need is the forestry maintenance building. Let's actually include all of this as well. That building goes right here. We have the large oil rigs. Definitely gonna make use of them. Waste oil refinery. We're gonna have two of those right there. And that's probably it. Did we get another unique factory? Yes, indeed. The petroleum refinery. But that's also going to require the ore industry. Oh jeez, look at that. It is freaking enormous. But it does fit. Let's see. I want another warehouse for this. So one of those. Yeah, this one here fits in nicely. For now, I'm going to deactivate this. And then we're going to have this thing next to it. Oh, let me do it. No, the rogue doesn't quite go far enough. Let me quickly fix that. So you go right there. And I suspect I can remove that. And we should still be fine. Yeah, it's not counted as disconnected. So fix the pathway and everyone should be happy. I'm gonna disable this building as well, since it's only gonna cost me upkeep. But that's an enormous factory, I have to admit. Looks like it's gonna cause at least some pollution. Looks like we're back to having a little bit of a train issue. It's not stemming from this intersection. It's more this cargo station that's the issue at the moment. Like, right here is the choke point. Yeah, I can see the problem. This distance is just not long enough. What if we combined this intersection? So there we go. But now I don't have all the connections. Ah, that's an issue. What if I do... No, 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 no. It's just gonna be impossible. Ah, that's a real issue. I guess for now I'm just gonna solve it like so. It's not optimal, I know. But I think it's still gonna improve the situation. Yeah, looks like it did its charm. The trains are coming in again. Let me check my industry. How far are we? We still need to sell a couple thousand products. But I think we are at a good point to actually wrap up this video. My son is in a crisis at the moment and I think I need to help out a little bit. Not sure if you can hear him in the background. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.